Hello everyone, I am Sega Sarnes Kefalidis and this is the first Thunar development update for 2022, so Happy New Year! Uh, in my last video I got some feedback to talk a little bit slower, so I'm going to do that in this one. Um, let's jump right into it, shall we? Uh, let me open Thunar and now I have two things to show you, uh, the two customizable toolbar and some things about shortcuts. The customizable toolbar is not yet merged. Uh, that means that it will probably be done by the time that 4.17.8 releases, but it might not. Uh, some things are prone to be buggy, like I have noticed one visual glitch. And let's go. Now, uh, in the last video, uh, we talked about the customizable status bar and the shortcuts editor. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. And in this one, we have a customizable toolbar. So as you can see, we have the default buttons here, the location bar, and we also have two new icons, which are my custom actions that I have created for this video. And you can see them here. Let's make a new one. I'm gonna call it something else like test and test and oops, such an amazing idea, calling stuff test, wow. <laughs> and let's go here, open the icon, terminal, let's select that one. And I also need to select when it shows up and I'm going to press directories because actions show up on the in the toolbar only when they work for directories and they only work for the currently open directory, not for the selected one. Uh, this is something that can be added quite easily probably, but like, it's not hard. Uh, but currently it doesn't work like that. So if I open this, it opens in my home folder, but if I go like in the pictures folder and open it, it goes in the pictures folder. But if I select another folder and press it, it's still in the pictures folder. Uh, I might change that before this one is merged. I might not. Uh, in general, we prefer things to be relatively simple and add complexity as time goes on. So we will see how people react to it and whether they want us to be able to, whether they want to be able to uh, use actions on the selected folders or the active one and stuff like that. Uh, now, somebody might say, but I don't want my custom actions to show up at the toolbar. And that's a very valid concern, but there is a new configure toolbar editor where you can reorder everything and you can hide stuff and show stuff and do all that kind of thing. And let me show you that things are also. And as you can see, there are a bunch of warnings and criticals, but that will be solved by the time it gets merged. I'm also getting some weird errors that only happen on this computer because something is misconfigured. There is also the default order button. There is no option for default visibility. Uh, I'm waiting for Alex's feedback on that, but I kind of feel like not many people would want to change the, visi the default visibility because the default is showing all the custom actions. So if you have like a hundred custom actions, not a hundred, like five, six, seven, eight, and you have hidden most of them, you wouldn't want the default button to show them up again. Show them again. So uh, it only works for the order. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can naturally, of course, also remove that and it works, it gets updated. Uh, now, the glitch I was talking about is in this toolbar style, when you change an action, the name appears twice, so it's like serious, serious. I don't know why. Uh, I have not really looked into it, but it will be solved by the time that this gets merged. The next thing is the ability to use shortcuts that contain the tab key. Uh, you couldn't do that before, uh, GTK does not support that as far as I know, probably because the tab key can be used, as you can see, to navigate the interface. So they feel like it doesn't make sense. Uh, we kind of agree with that, so we won't have any default accelerators that use the tab key. But you can now like assign the uh, next and previous tab to accelerators that are widely used, like a control tab and control, control plus shift plus left tab. And it works, so if I open a new tab and place the control tab, it works. Um, as I said, we're not planning to use any default accelerators, the accelerators that contain the tab key because it's used for navigating the interface. 
Uh, I'm also working on adding a spinner element when searching, so currently the search was merged, the search MR was merged at last, so it probably came out in 4.17.7 or it will come out in 4.17.8. Uh, all of these are development versions. Uh, the release version of Thunor will be 4.18 and it will come when XFC 4.18 releases, which will hopefully be sooner rather than later. And if I press like S here, you can see that even though it's searching, it's not really showing that it's searching. And if I go somewhere else, I won't really know that it's searching. So I'm planning to add the spinner element right here. Let's close that. And that is pretty much it. Uh, I'm waiting for your feedback. Uh, I'd be happy to see you write stuff either in the comments or in our issue tracker or in our IRC or Telegram channels or Reddit, wherever. Um, if you like the video, you can press the like button or the subscribe button and you can suggest what kind of stuff you would like to see. If you want to know some more things about the internals of Thunor, I could do a video about that. If you want to see some things about contributing to XFC for the first time, I could do something like that. Uh, I wanted to do a live stream uh, where I work on like some kind of bugathon where I solve bugs, debugathon where I solve bugs live, uh, but I don't really have time for this right now because uh, the end of my semester is coming up, so I have some assignments to finish and study, but this will probably happen eventually. And that's it. Bye bye.